Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Truth Report for this week. Well, yesterday we heard from the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, and what will be uh, historically seen as a magnificent speech, one of the best ever delivered in the halls of Congress, certainly by a foreign dignitary. Uh, <clears throat> and it was a speech really to the world. Iran heard and they'll make their calculations. Uh, the Congress heard. They were deeply moved by the most part. There were some 50 plus Democrats evidently that chose not to come to that. The President did not come. Vice President did not come. The Secretary of State Terry, uh, Kerry did not come. But um, uh, Obama heard the message. It wasn't directed totally at him, certainly not, but it was directed to the world and the heartland of this country. And uh, during the speech at various times, directly and indirectly, he alluded to uh, the fact that historically there has been a hostility toward Jews that they have succumbed to. They've had no choice, but now they have a nation of their own. Uh, they will defend themselves. They'll go it alone, as the Prime Minister said, if they had to, hopefully, that they would not have to. The United States has stood with them in the past. But uh, historically, there has been a hostility to the Jews. There's been an attempt to destroy them. I mean, going all the way back to the Exodus when the Jews were delivered out of Egypt and Pharaoh tried to destroy them. And that's gone on through, uh, through millennia. And I'm often asked the question, why is it that the Jews create or have this visceral hatred toward them? That's not an easy question, but I think, I think the prayer that's offered to us in Psalm 83 by Asaph gives us a clue. And I want to read just a portion of that. Psalm 83, verse 1. O oh God, do not keep silent. Be not quiet, O oh God. Be not still. See how your enemies are astir, how your foes rear their heads. He's saying to God, he has enemies, he has foes. They're rearing their heads, talking to God. With cunning, they conspire against your people. Those who are the foes of God conspire against their, his people. They conspire against your people. They plot, uh, they plot against those you cherish. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation that the name of Israel be remembered no more. And then he makes this final connection. With one mind, they, those, those who are coming against Israel, the Jewish people, with one mind they plot together, they form an alliance against you. There's the connection between God's people and God himself. And <clears throat> I think we have to recognize that man is born innately with a hostility toward God. And only God can change that. Jesus himself said, no one comes to me. No one comes to me unless the Father draws them. So there has to be a divine work of God's spirit in the life of a person for them to uh, uh, be supportive of the Jewish people. And there are many, who, uh, many Christians who base their support of the Jewish people on the scriptures taking them at face value is what they say. Now he goes, closes this passage by saying this, still making the connection. Asaph prays in verse 16, cover their faces with shame, those who are coming against Israel. Cover their faces with shame so that men will seek your name, O Yahweh. Those whose faces are covered with shame will bring about the exaltation of the name of Yahweh. That's coming. That will come. That is forthcoming. May they ever be ashamed and dismayed. May they perish in disgrace. Who? Those who are coming against, against Israel, coming against uh, uh, the Jews. That let them know that you whose name is Yahweh, that you alone are the most high in all the earth. There is a connection between the visceral hatred of the Jewish people and a hostility toward God himself. And only God can change that, and God will change that in due time. 
<clears throat> there's some difficult days ahead. The Prime Minister recognized that, and he alluded to that, and especially if Iran gets a nuclear weaponry. At the close of his uh, remarks today, he pointed to a carving of Moses as the lawgiver, pointing to our common heritage. Uh, and it is common. We have our legal system, our judicial system, based upon the Ten Commandments and the judicial system that's given to us through Moses the Jew in a Bible that was written by Jews. He didn't say it, but salvation likewise is of the Jews. But he closed by saying, and you might expect this, God bless Israel, God bless the United States. He didn't say what I would say. Let me say it for him. Yahweh bless Israel. Yahweh bless the United States. And that's the truth. <laughs>